everyone. So um, my work bike needs uh, the rear uh, brake pads replaced. As you can see over here, they're really worn out. And I figured I'd make a video about it. By the way, this is my my work steed. It's a Specialized Crux E5 Cycle Cross with uh, hydraulic brakes. I made some upgrades on it, put some wheels on, some nice carbon uh, seat post, blah, 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 whatever. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you the process of how to put some uh, brake pads on it. It's pretty simple, it takes like maybe 10 minutes. Alright, here we go. So this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need uh, one of these. He has a, let's say, T25 Torx range. Not very important, but it's to uh, align the brake caliper the rear after the whole installation. You're gonna need, I think it's a 2 mil uh, small uh, Allen key to get the pin out that holds the brake pads in. Some small uh, pliers to pull the brake pads out. This tool over here, which is basically you jam when you take the brake pads out, you jam this in so the calipers don't slide out because they have a limit. And once they slide out, it's a pain you have to get them back in. And of course, your compatible brake pads. By the way, get to it. So, quick tip over here in order to take the wheel off with uh, where you have gears, uh, the easier way is to shift to the highest gear, and that makes the removal of the wheel way easier, wheel way easier because uh, the derailleur is not as tensioned, that's why. Next you remove this uh, small uh, insert, what this insert is for is in case the screw that holds the brake pads comes undone, it makes sure you don't actually lose it, it stops it from falling out. Next step, you grab your 2 mil allen key, you undo this, and now you can just Grab this and pull it slowly. Slowly just pull the brake pads out. And there you go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our uh, SRAM uh, jam or whatever insert tool and insert it over here. What that does, it opens the um, the calipers up so that you can uh, it opens them up so you have space to pull the new brake pads in because the new brake pads they have a lot of width compared to the old ones and sometimes when you remove the old ones the calipers they kind of close in now we're just gonna remove this tool out grab our brand new uh, calipers the fuck are these? these are Jaguar sports make sure you don't get any oil on the brake pads themselves because they're not gonna work that well and also they're gonna squeal same applies to dirt they squeal a lot when some dirt gets into it set them up like this compress them and just put them back in now you just grab the this pin that holds the brake pads uh, together in the caliper and does not allow them to uh, get out of it. You screw it back in. Doesn't need too much strength on it because it doesn't do anything that requires a lot of strength. So it doesn't need to be screwed in so much. And then you and then you grab this uh, security insert. And just start insert it on top of the pin and voila brake packs installed okay next we're just gonna put the wheel back and uh, 
center the caliper to the disc. Okay, so the last step is uh, we're gonna try to center the caliper to the position of the disc so that the distance between the disc and the brake pads it's equal so it's not rubbing in case you have like a slightly bent disc what you have to do is you grab your Torx uh, key you unscrew the mounts that hold the caliper to the frame ever so slightly just enough for the caliper to move as you can see it wobbles there you go got some wobble going on next you press really hard on the brake what it does it centers it basically just centers the caliper because it's free to move when you're breaking it it's uh, now the caliper technically it's supposed to be centered so next you just tighten the screws back in that hold the caliper a little bit each a little bit but at a time Just like so, release the brake and there you go. I hope you guys uh, like this video. Um, I'm planning to do more of these. Uh, let me know in the comments if uh, there's something you would like to see. Uh, more specifically, I do all my maintenance on all of my bikes, so there's a lot of things that. Uh, I can cover but uh, I think next I might do a bleed on my brakes the hydraulics and I have uh, two upcoming builds full bikes one track one uh, gravel grinder so uh, stay tuned for that I hope you guys enjoyed leave uh, leave a like leave a comment of what you'd like to see take care